Two days back, I went to a garden with my daughter, and I saw a beautiful leaf with lots of pattern. And I thought, let me create this painting in watercolors. So I will show you how I created this beautiful leaf in watercolor. So let's see. So this is the beautiful leaf I got from garden. Can you see? It has a lot of patterns with green and some browns, and this leaf looks so beautiful. So here I am just tracing out the leaf with a pencil. So this is a very easy technique or a simple method. You can draw with a free hand, or you can just trace it out. Just do the outline, and then you can just give the shape later on. So it is up to you. You can choose and decide how you want to draw the leaf. The inner lines you can just see. I just did it with a free hand, so you can just add the lines as per your choice. You don't need to copy the exact same thing. So once this is done, I'm just applying a simple water on over all the leaf so that I can add some colors. Just take your time and do it with ease. Don't be in a hurry. Just cover all the area with water. Don't leave any white spaces. So here I'm using Kunakuran Gold. This is my most favorite color. So the leaf has this uh, yellowish color. It is not that you know. It is not that too lemon color. It is not that too brownish. So I think this is the best color to go for. So I'm just trying to apply overall. So this is a very simple process. It will test your patience. So keep the have this patience and just do it. You are not in a race here. You are just trying to learn something new. So give all your time and you know have that patience so that you can learn something greater. So I have given a simple layer of this color. So now I am applying the masking fluid. Just wait the colors to dry first. Then only you apply the masking fluid. That is very important. Don't be in a hurry. I was in a hurry. You can just see that color got you know that I got the bloom here. But that is okay. Um, sometimes you feel restless, but. Uh, trust me have patience wait for the colors to dry and then go for the next step the next step is applying the masking fluid wherever you can see the light colors over there and once the masking fluid is completely dried then you start the next process So here I am applying one more layer of Kinectin Gold. So you can just see the second layer and just do this with a lot of patience and cover the entire area.
don't go out of patience and don't spoil the shape be careful and just cover the entire area When you are creating any painting, you will have lot of doubts. How will I create this pattern, or how I'm going to create the uh, shape, whatever it is. So do not worry. Just experiment in a small piece of paper. I never do that. That is my problem. I just experiment everything on the on the main subject itself. So here I'm trying to get that green blooms which is there uh, in the main leaf. So can you see? I'm just trying to apply some green, and I'm just trying to find out. how i'm going to get this green uh, bloomy shape i would say if you are new and you don't know how to do this please experiment in a simple uh, sheet of paper and then you come to the main sheet and work on your main artwork whenever you work on a rough sheet or a, another sheet of paper you will get lot of confidence and you will be very much confident to work on your main artwork so here i'm trying to get that effect and shape so i'm just trying to see how i'm going to get this so here i found out how i can get this shape this is a very simple technique just apply the green color and then you just uh, put some water so automatically the water will spread out and it will create this bloom and you can remove the excess color with the uh, tissue paper i'm using a very soft tissue paper that is helping me to remove the excess color so i tried different uh, methods and technique how i get how can i get this bloom so it is up to you you just decide and i think this is a very uh, simple technique how to get a watercolor bloom on your paper so most of the time we create this mistake and i think this mistake itself is uh, creating a beautiful pattern and texture So in this leaf there is lot of pattern uh, of this green you know green color so you can just create uh, however you want to if you create more it will look good and i think it has lot of these green uh, patterns in in the real leaf so it is up to you how much you want you don't need to copy the exact the same thing you just do as much you can so i'm trying out different shapes and different technique and you can just see i'm trying to remove the excess color you don't need to go too dark in the in one go just be patient and do it lighter once you are very much confident you can make it darker later on So this is how I'm trying to get the basic shape in my leaf on one side of the area so that I can work more and uh, see So 
सो हियर कैन यू सी आई वॉज ऑल्सो हैविंग लॉड ऑफ थाट्स एंड आई वॉज नॉट इन ए ग्रेट मूड वैन आई स्टार्टड दिस पेंटिंग बट आई I started doing it very slow with lot of patience and I thought let me discover how can I do this pattern how can I create this texture so what it is teaching me it is teaching me to calm down to stay focused to have this patience so each painting will teach you something or the other i have told you this 100 times so just trust the process and see what you are learning from this you are not here to um you know get some appreciation or get some award from anyone here this painting or whatever painting you are doing that is for yourself for your benefit for your peaceful uh, mind uh, or i would say for your well being so try to learn from this beautiful um creative artwork and my friends i feel this nature has so many things to teach us can you see the leaf the pattern it is created by nature and it is looking so beautiful and i got so much inspired by this leaf so that i can create this artwork i can uh, you know i can guide you people so i am so much grateful i got this leaf uh, i am so grateful to the universe who showed me this idea so that i can show you and teach you something there are so many artists who do this quick painting that painting just done in 5 or 10 minutes i don't judge them or i am not criticizing them even i used to do the same but i thought let me give some time to my artwork and let me see how it shows up and trust me the painting what you create uh, that will make you feel so amazing from inside when you give your 100% when you give you know put all your efforts that matters a lot and whatever you do in life i feel you have to put your hard work you have to uh, stay focused you have to be patient so all these things is teaching you the watercolor is teaching you so i am so grateful that uh, you know i am i i i took this medium as my profession and watercolor teach you many things and if you don't get this pattern right it is okay just try it out in the rough paper and just come back to the main sheet and even you can try it out and do some experiments in your main artwork that is nobody is going to stop you so just try and create and just uh, just find out your own way you don't need to be that perfect as you are uh, thinking about you can just uh, free yourself and just see what is coming out from your side you know because all each one is different your style would be different mine would be different so learn from your own style whenever you feel bored or you feel this is too much you can just get up and take some break and come back do just don't give up and just don't try to complete the whole artwork in one day whenever you are using any colors this is a small suggestion mix the color with water thoroughly and then apply because if if the pigment you know stays in your paper that will uh, spoil your artwork so be careful just mix it with water properly and then start your artwork and now can you see i am very much confident and i am just uh, you know 
going little uh, in a, you know doing a little faster than before because now i know how i cre i can create this kind of watercolor blooms right so initially you will not understand what should i do you know all these questions will uh, will come into your mind but that is completely fine you just uh, you know just just follow your own intuition and your own heart and then just start doing automatically you will gain the confidence I am not a perfectionist but I always try to copy the same thing what is there uh, in my reference image or the object or the thing whatever I have. So it is up to you, you can change the colors, you can just experiment with different color because initially I don't get these thoughts then once I you know complete half of my painting then I realize I should have changed the color. So it is up to you, you can just change the color and uh, create a different version of this as well. this video you might find it little longer but i thought let me explain the whole thing i didn't want to cut it down so that is why i am just showing you the entire process how i am doing this artwork Here I am just trying to use a simple brush and just trying to uh, blend some colors, that's it. So this is how I completed my artwork in day 1. So I will show you soon how I did my day 2. So till then take care and bye bye.